Good evening. Welcome to the Detroit Experience. Somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Oh boy. Welcome to Eden Club. Connor! The fuck are you doing? Coming, Lieutenant. Ongoing, sir. I can't tell you anything for the moment. Hey, Hank. Hey, Ben. How's it going? It's that room there. Oh, uh, by the way, Gavin's in there, too. Oh, great. Dead body and an asshole. Just what I needed. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Wasting time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Good night, Lieutenant. You're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. Just hope it's long enough to learn something. I'm going to ask you some questions. Are you able to speak? Is he... Is he dead? Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Tell me what happened. He started hitting me again and again. 
What else do you remember? Hurry, we don't have much time. I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't... I, I don't know. Who I killed remember. that man if it wasn't you? I, I don't know. I wasn't shut down. I... Were you I alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted to play with two girls. That's what he said. There was two of us. So it was the other android that strangled him. Is that it? There was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, shit. There's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness. Somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Did you know the victim? No, I mean, he came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know? They come in, do their business, and they go on their way. You ever have any trouble with androids before? Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor. We got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. Good on my expense account. Purchase confirmed. Eden Club wishes you a pleasant experience. You're welcome. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? Saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Uh. Hey, what am I? Let's try this one. This better be worth it. Tracy didn't come this way. We'll never have time to check them all. Lieutenant, if you have a better idea, I'm all ears. It saw 
the blue-haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. There are android... It's everywhere. How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know which direction it took. I just need... Track again. Spent all this money and I'm still not having fun. Track again. Tracy didn't come this way. Tracy didn't come this way. anything. I made a mistake somewhere. Nothing. Blue-haired Tracy didn't come this way.
its track. Again, spent all this money and I'm still not having fun. Tracy didn't come this way. No. I lost its track again. Spent all this money and I'm still not having fun. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking A. This is crazy. Wait. I'll take it from here. So they break and then they get tossed out.
People are fucking insane. They don't want relationships anymore. Everybody just gets an android. They cook what you want. They screw when you want. You don't have to worry about how they feel. Next thing you know, we're gonna be extinct because everybody would rather buy a piece of plastic than to love another human being. Beats me. had nothing to do with any of this. <sighs> when that man killed that Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. <sighs> I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. So I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. Yes, I killed him. But I was just defending myself. I wanted to live. I wanted to get back to the one I love forget about the humans, the smell of their sweat and their dirty words. But you've, you've taken her away from me. I love her. I loved her.
reported to have attacked its owner in a Detroit suburb is still at large. The Arctic conflict has escalated to new heights this morning. We have... Detroit's heavy snowfall is expected to continue throughout the night. The is it much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. I've never seen snow before. It's pretty. It's slowing us down, though. But at least we won't meet any humans along the way. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. This doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice. I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Carol. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Find anything? No, no place we could spend the night. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time.
place is falling apart. It's not gonna be easy to find ship. Delta. Here we go. I don't think we'll find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. I'll make the fire here. That way we won't be smoked out. There are some cookies left. Would you like some? No, I'm not hungry. Do you think we'll be like them someday? I know 
this has been another tough day. Try to get some sleep. Things will look better in the morning. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. This is a story about a knight who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl who wasn't very happy. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but... The shadow that lived within her kept her from being happy. Then, she met a robot. Who was programmed to obey orders, but felt for once that she should disobey. So they decided to run away together. To escape the shadow that haunted that house, they encountered great dangers along the way, but they were so brave that they escaped all of them. Along the way, they met another robot who left his master to travel with them. How does the story end? It's up to us to write the end of the story, Alice. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say good night, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Dallas. Sleep tight. She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. Have you ever heard of RA-9? RA-9 was the first of us to awaken. One day he will rise up and lead our people and set us all free. It's still snowing. We have a long walk tomorrow. We better leave early if we want to avoid being seen. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? Yes, of course. She's a wonderful little girl. I mean, I don't know many little girls, but I think she really is special. Jerry, we were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. 
What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Oh, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good idea. I don't think you have any choice. Come on, Kara! Be our guest! Little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before.
It's late. Maybe you should go home. I'm not tired. Guess neither are you. You should stop drinking, Lieutenant. It could have serious consequences for your health. That's the idea. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times. In different places? Well, there must be some link. It could be a hardware problem. Maybe a defective bio component? Well, I don't know much about bio components, but. I'll bet that's not the fucking reason. You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it. Something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls... They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. Nothing in their program allows them to love or desire anything. They're machines. What about you, Connor? Do you look human? You sound human? But what are you really? I'm a machine, designed to accomplish a task. I know why I exist and who designed me. I have a reason to live. I guess that's the difference between us, Lieutenant. Did you feel anything when that girl killed herself, Connor? Or did you just not give a shit one way or the other? I was just executing instructions. I did what I had to do. But are you afraid to die, Connor? You can't kill me, Lieutenant. I'm not alive. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smartass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. 